it is the most litigious product <laughs> I can even talk about because everyone wants this product. Um, there's different companies that have similar products, I believe. I don't think there's any way that they use polarization, fracking, and uh, different types of levels like we did. And then when I came over in March, we did add the components, which I don't know how much we've shared with you guys, but we've made it stronger. Uh, I made sure that we embedded it with trace minerals as well as the vitamin C. And it was very important to me because I wanted to make sure that when people took it, they were eradicating the bad things out, reducing the inflammation, protecting the immune system, and providing for the body. And that's what we've done with this amazing product that we're all working on together. So Clean Slate is something that's instrumental, um, especially, I think, during this time to help people with their bodies. And one of the things Dory just talked about was vitamin C and the sun. Um, with vitamin D, vitamin C, and all the things associated with getting the sun, being out, being active. But... One of the things we don't talk about enough is as we age, how there's a depletion of this and during different seasons, how there's a depletion and how important it is to provide our bodies with this. Um, I wish when we launched Root, we would have launched Natural Barrier Support, uh, which has a combination of the zinc, the vitamin D3 and the vitamin C, uh, but we were able to put the vitamin C into zinc or I was able to, and then I was able to put it into um, the zero and for vitamin T, D. My reasons for doing that though, just so everyone know what I was trying to make a catalyst so it would be more bioavailable and go into the system at the same time supporting the body. A lot of people have come to me and said, why does it say vitamin C you know, on the label? It's one of the most important parts of the product. If you look at the analysis after the product's done, you don't see the zeolite, you see the silica and you see the vitamin C. And again, um, you know, being able to create a product that I knew would help people, um, I don't think I was prepared for the fact that it would be a product that everybody, all of the competitors would want, and it would become this, this topic of, of discussion um, between all these companies. What I wanted to do is not talk bad about any of the competitors, but to provide a solution for you all. And I want to I want to say this before, you know, we go in a little bit into the vitamin C. When you guys are talking to groups, you know, I, I've said this, I've been on the science, medical, and clinical side of companies. Um, I've also been on the sales and marketing. Dory, I think we're the same, right? The th two of us have been involved in like all those aspects of different companies. Me, I, I was focused, you know, for a long time on pharmaceutical and biotech. One of the things I learned that's always been really important to me is when you're trying to share a story or, or have a doctor or a patient use a product or a customer, you don't want to talk negatively about the competitors. You want to talk positively about what your product offers. And then you can say, I'm not sure if they offer this or if it's done the right way, but our goal is to shine light on what we have so that we can share it. And I really want us to always focus on that because we will lose, and I want to, I want to say this, we will lose someone we could help by talking bad about their products or, or their lives. We will lose people. And what that means to me is we won't help as many people. If we can share the light and share what our message is without cutting other groups down and other products down, then we will help more, more people. I, and I mean that, that's very, very important to me. Uh, I try to teach my kids that. I, I want our community to know that. And of course, sometimes we have to point out how a product we don't believe works or how we have to say, this is not beneficial to someone in our opinion, but we really want to focus on our product. And so for today, I really want you guys to look at this. This is a meta-analysis of nine randomized controlled trials. We have a very powerful vitamin C that we don't talk about enough in Clean Slate. Of course, we also have it in the natural barrier support, but it was really important to me to source a pure source. And I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't know if people know this. I've never talked about this publicly. When you source a vitamin, you get a report, and it tells you what concentration of the vitamin is in the product. It also says if there's iron, if there's lead, if there's mercury. Some people can source vitamins that were actually made that have harmful ingredients in them. And I want you guys to feel very good about the product that you have because it has a type of vitamin C that's pure that really helps the body and helps the body actually use the clean slate to eradicate things and again protect 
this particular meta-analysis talks about even one gram a day of vitamin C can shorten a cold and in 8% of the adults and in children by 18%. So when people, when someone asks me, can, can kids take clean slate? My answer is absolutely yes. And again, pointing to this, this is something that really helps with the symptoms, but helps with the overall body. And I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Dory, but it's vitamin C to me cannot be overstated. Oh, I love vitamin C. So I think the next slide is, yeah, we're talking about the antiviral properties of um, Clino. And you guys probably know this, Clino has been found to really help with a lot of different things. Um, this particular article talks about different viral suspensions that were treated with micronized clino. A micronized clino means micro, like small. Some people use nano emulsions. There's different words you can use. I think I've told you guys, I use nanotechnology developing products. I don't like to make claims about liposomes. I don't like to make claims about um, nanoparticles. And the reason for that is there's there's FDA guidelines. You've got to be very, very careful. It's really hard to measure it anyway, even in a pharmaceutical product. But I do use different methods so that when I'm making these products, they can be more bioavailable for the body. Um, but if you look at this particular study and this information, it talks about when they used the micronized clino with ranging from 0.5 to 50 milligrams per milliliter, the human antivirus, which five, or herpes complex virus type one, and human um, intervirus, which I never say that right, Dora, you may have to correct me, were used in the antiviral essays. If you look at the overall uh, article and what we're trying to point out here, what this is saying is that when they use certain types of micro clino or zeolite, or starting from that particular formulation, it was able to induce a inhibitory effect upon a, a viral proliferation. So I want to stop and I want to explain that. When a virus proliferates and it grows, if you can stop and inhibit that sequencing, it just gradually dies. So you have these spike proteins like we all know about that we all talk about. And when a virus starts communicating and picking up the phone, your job is to lower that communication or cut it off, right? inhibit it. So it doesn't work. So that's one of the reasons for me, when people ask me, what do I need to take? And I'm like, please tell me you're taking clean slate. Whether you have a vaccine or not, we know that you can still get COVID. Whether you have a vaccine or not, we know you can still get the flu, right? So we've got to give the body the protection it needs. So while that's fighting this fight, regardless of personal opinion, regardless of belief, we're helping people. And that's our job. So when all the fighting starts going on, I stop everyone and I say, our job is to heal to help and let's do this without arguing. And so anyway, I, I love this particular um, slide and hopefully you guys can share it with a lot of your customers and people all over. 